This is my third opportunity to go to the Dominican Republic and I did not get the chance to go last year because I wanted to give other people a chance to go and experience the things that I have. But this year I really felt God tugging on my heart that there was a need and that it was my time once again to go. We actually got the opportunity to go to Monte Plata, which is an orphanage about an hour away from the church we were staying in. And God put me with the kids because construction is not my strong suit. And the kids at Monte Plata taught me more about breaking language barriers and more about love than I have ever seen in my entire life. My prayer, at least personally, was that uh, I would come back um, without saying that I benefited from this trip, but really saying that uh, that we gave everything that we could, uh, which never works out that way. You always come back being blessed more than you could have even uh, ever, ever give. Uh, I got the unique opportunity to um, uh, share some music with some of the kids and teach them a couple of chords on guitar. And we wrote a song with a few of the kids that were there and um, they all came together and started writing words down and we put it together and by the end of our session that day they had written a completely original praise song. And uh, what really impacted me was the fact that none of the words that they brought to this song were songs about needs or songs about how difficult their life was. But every single lyric they wrote was a praise, it was a song of praise, a song of how faithful God had been to them, how good He had been to them. And to me, that is incredible. That is a clear evidence of God's faithfulness in the DR and the orphanage there. The day we arrived in Monte Plata, I walked through the door of the first home and I was welcomed as though I was a long lost friend and they worked with me and my Spanish. We had the opportunity to have an incredible conversation with these two women and they shared some of the deepest longings of their heart with me in spite of my poor Spanish. What I was not expecting was the relational aspect of the trip. I can care, I can give, and I can pray. And all that is needed and should be done. But once you look into the faces and are accepted in the homes of these people and experience <clears throat> and experience their their friendship, eat their food, enjoy their fellowship, in essence be welcomed into their family. It changes things. The giving, the caring, the praying grows into love.